Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I am Star. Y'all, I'm low-key supposed to be off, but as I already said, you know what I'm saying, hey, business, I was all day. Anywho, so I was just sitting here, and the message comes through a song. The song is um, by Webby, and I believe this is Kelly Rowland, um, I Miss You. And um, I'm just going to go off of my memory, y'all. If y'all don't, if y'all don't remember, your girl, camera broke. So I don't have another screen physically in front of me that I can look the lyrics up right now and read the lyrics to y'all while simultaneously recording a video. As I've already said, if you want to donate towards that, you can hit up my cash up or my website. You know what I'm saying? It's not a requirement. We will eventually get it. But, yeah. Anywho, let's get into it. Um, from my memory, okay, uh, Webby says, I ain't been home in a, day, in a few days. I miss you. I know you do. I ain't going to lie. I miss you, too. Come on, kiss me through the phone. I'm going to kiss you, too. I'm going to hit you in a minute. Got to get this loot. We got us something special. I know it ain't nothing better. Um. I think he said, when I look you in the eyes, I can tell I don't want nothing else. Um, anywho, I'm going to get into her part. Since you've been away, I've been down and lonely. Since you've been away, I've been thinking of you. Oh, I'm missing you. Okay, that's the song, y'all. Let me get the scripture. The scripture comes from Song of Songs 5 and 9. How does your lover differ from any other? Oh, most beautiful among women. How does your lover differ from any other that you adjure us so? My lover is radiant and ruddy. He stands out among thousands. His head is pure gold. His locks are palm fronds, black as the raven. His eyes are like doves beside the warning waters. His teeth would seem bathed in milk and are set like jewels. His cheeks are like beds of spice with ripening aromic herbs. His lips are red blossoms. They drip choice myrrh. His arms are rides of gold adorned with chrysolites. His body is a work of ivory covered with sapphires. His legs are columns of marble resting on golden bases. His stature is like the trees of Lebanon, imposing as the cedars. His mouth is sweetness itself. He is all delight. Such is my lover and such is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. This is so sweet. Okay. <laughs> but it's the message for somebody. Baby, your person is missing you. They are missing you. They are missing you. They are missing you. And they are missing you specifically. Like, um, they are missing you specifically. And regardless, like, I don't know if this is, um, you know, who exactly the, is listening to the message. If this is, this is either, um, a spouse that is away working okay there's a spouse that is away because they are working and um y'all missing each other like that's literally the message i don't know which one i'm talking to but y'all are both missing each other y'all both um sitting around romanticizing each other and daydreaming about each other y'all miss being together y'all miss being around each other um and that's like literally like that's the me you know that's the song and um I mean that's the song and the message and literally it, it's a song and the scripture is song of songs and then the scripture goes so perfectly with the like with the message y'all this is song they miss you they, like and that's what the message somebody you needed to hear that they miss you. And they miss everything about you. They miss your hair. They miss your scent. They miss your facial structure. They miss your smile. They miss your walk. They miss your voice. 
They miss every single thing about you. Everything. And the entire time while they are working, they are thinking about you specifically. And, you know, just as in the song, like his part that I do remember, I ain't been home in a few days. I miss you. I miss you, too. I ain't, what do you say? Um, I know you do. I ain't going to lie. I miss you, too. So this is somebody they do plan on eventually coming back to you. But right now they are working. They're working. They're working and they're working regardless to if um, I don't know if there has been spoken communication about this. So this could be um, a situation like I don't know. I feel like somebody is undercover in a sense or it's something like somebody's undercover. Somebody one like one of the people in this relationship don't really know what kind of work the other person is doing. And this may be on like a spiritual level. So it, it could be a spiritual level. This person could be doing some kind of mission like god may have sent this person on some kind of mission they don't even know what kind of mission they on but they know they miss you and you miss them too and that's like the message god is saying that y'all both miss like both of your hearts are yearning for y'all are yearning for each other y'all are yearning to be together y'all both miss each other and deeply for whatever reason y'all cannot be together at the moment but God, like for whoever this is, not for everybody. But God says this is this is a situation where y'all like the feeling is mutual. You are not just alone in your feelings. It's not as if you are sitting around missing your person and they don't miss you at all. So I don't know who this is for. It could even be a situation like the the mission that. <laughs> For somebody, the mission that you are on is that your person it could possibly be a prodigal. They did something wrong, regardless to if they um, need to repent for something that they did. Maybe they stepped out on the relationship. They stepped out on a marriage and they have not repented to God. They have not went to God and repented. Every tongue shall confess. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And they have not repented. But they miss you desperately. But they still have not bent down, got on their knees and asked God for forgiveness. They have not turned away from that sin. And because they have not turned away from that sin, they are causing y'all's relationship to be in stagnation. They are causing y'all to be on pause because they have not repented to God for what they did. That's only for specific people. But um, and for some that is like for someone that is the mission you're on. Like you God separated you from this person because they were not treating you right. And they like they are missing you. But that feeling, the feelings that they have for you are intended to change them, to help them have a change of heart. But if they refuse to repent of their sins then the, like it's kind of y'all like that's why y'all are separated for somebody that's why y'all are separated they don't want to repent or they it like they they may keep hearing this from god they keep like this is they are seeing signs everywhere but instead of them repenting of their sins so that they can be with you they are carrying on like if this is someone that has been cheating Instead of them repenting of what they have done wrong, every time they miss you, they are going and chasing after other people for affection. And they still end up, they wake up with a headache from whatever they then drunk their self to uh, sleep, trying to cover up the pain of their heart. They wake up with that heartache again. Every morning, they the feelings come back. They can't drink enough to get rid of their feelings. They can't smoke enough to get rid of their feelings. It don't matter who they touch and they chase after this. The feelings are still there and they still wake up with this emptiness inside of them. And, you know, it's basically it, it like we all have free will. And it's, it's going to be until they finally figure out 
that that feeling is not going to go away until they repent. And, you know, the sad thing is, if this is someone that is going, like, if they just refuse to repent, then, but that, like, I, that's for someone specifically. That doesn't have to be for everyone that this message is for. But for somebody, the reason that y'all are separated, the mission that you are on, God pulled you away from them so that they can see how they would feel not being connected to you. Because y'all are um, kingdom spouses, y'all are soulmates or whatever you want to call it. Y'all are meant to be together. But because of the way they were treating you, God pulled you away from them. And now God is allowing them to sit there and feel their feelings and emotions. And they are not dealing with it well. They are not like that. Some of them, they're very stubborn. They are very stubborn. And instead of them accepting the fact like they it's, it's a pride thing. Instead of them accepting the fact that they are the reason it is not going to be until they accept and acknowledge the fact that they are the reason that you two are separated and that they have to turn away from their sin in order for them to be with you. Then it is when y'all will be able to be back together again. But because they like they think they're going to play a game on God. They can trick you, you know, and, and in reality, they can't trick you because you're so close to God and they may come to you and say, I'm not doing that no more. I promise I'm not cheating. I'm not messing with nobody. They can have the person in a different city across town over here, over there. They, they didn't told everybody the script. Everybody got the script memorized. And it looks as if they never did it or they were, they're not doing it anymore. But God says he sees into their heart. He sees into their soul and he knows that their intentions at the moment, they just want you close to them because they don't like feeling that pain. And as soon as they get you back the way they want you, they are going to carry on with their foolery. And it will not be until they confess of their sin and they confess uh, that God, they, they will have to confess. They will have to confess to God. They will have to kneel before God and they will have to confess of their sins and they will have to put those sins behind them wholeheartedly. It's not going to be something where they can play around and act like they done with it. God said he's not playing no game with them. They need to put it away and all the way away. They need to not like they need to throw all that sin in a little box, lock the box, throw the box at the bottom of the ocean with a weight on it. So they know and, and it needs to be done. It needs to be finished until they completely turn away from their sin. God is not playing with them about you. God has said he will not give them his child so they can drag your heart all over the place until they do that. They're going to have to deal with their feelings. But this is for somebody because you are wondering and you are thinking about this. God says they miss you so much that like you, you, they miss you more than you miss them. They like there it's intensified because not only do they miss you and they know they can feel that y'all are supposed to be together but they also are carrying around the guilt that is their fault that y'all broke up but they are trying to figure out a way to have their cake and eat it too they trying to figure out a way that they can get you back and carry on with this lifestyle that like some of them are wanting to live a double life god is saying no god said no there will be no double life for them not if they if they are going to partake in his kingdom and be with his child, they are going to have to let all that stuff go. And if they can't let all that stuff go, then they're just going to have to deal with their broken heart. And, you know, for whoever you are, once again, they are hurting more than you are. The pain you feel is the bare minimum because God is with you. God is holding you. God has you. The pain that they are feeling 
compared to your pain is it's 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 several times more, seven times more. Their their pain is heavy on them. So, you know, if they were already drinkers, they are drinking more. They they are doing everything to try to get away from this pain that they are feeling. And they are basically feeling the pain that they have caused you on steroids. And like this is all they're doing. So it hurts more. Like they, they have all of this going on right now. But that's the message. You know, God says, um, yes, they miss you. They, they miss you. And they miss you dearly. And they are trying to figure out a way that they can get back over near you while simultaneously carrying on with their nonsense. But God said no. God said no. And they are working, okay? They're working on getting back. They're working on trying to figure out a way to get back to you. But, you know, and if this is for the person that did some kind of wrong and they're trying to fix their relationship, it will not be until you get down on your knees and confess to God of your sin and turn away from your sin. And then God will release your spouse back to you. And that will be that only that. That is the only way. That is the only way. There is no cunning God. There is no tricking God. There is no way that you could um, confuse God and tell God one thing and you really mean something else. No, 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 no. God said that is the only way. And that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.